Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to crochet a sling bag using V shell and front post double crochet. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any two colors, 50 grams each, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, continue working chain 32 plus extra 2 chains. If you want to increase or decrease the size of the bag, just add or subtract by the multiple of 6 to the chain 32. Now we have completed working our 34 chains. For the round on, we are going to work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So 1, 2 and 3. Into the third chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. Now we have completed working our half double crochet. Place marker in top of the half double crochet. So we are going to place the marker in top of the half double crochet. Into the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. And again, into the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. So this will be our third half double crochet. Like this, continue working 30 half double crochet. Now we have completed working one half double crochet in 30 stitches. There will be one chain. Into that chain, we are going to work three half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet, the second half double crochet increase, and the third one. After completing our increase, we are going to place marker in the very first half double crochet increase. So into the very first half double crochet, place the marker. Turn the work and into the first loop, we are going to work one half double crochet. We won't work in the loop where we have done our increase. So from the next loop, work one half double crochet into the next 30 stitches. So continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 30 half double crochet. Now we have completed working our 30 half double crochet. There will be one loop left alone. Into that loop we are going to work an increase. So we are going to work two half double crochet increase into the last stitch. So first half double crochet and the second one. Now we are going to place the marker into the very first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker, Turn the work and remove the next marker and we are going to work a slip stitch. So we have completed our round one by making a slip stitch. For the round two we are going to work chain two and into the same chain space we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet and the second one. Into the very first half double crochet we will be placing our marker. After placing the marker from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. So work one half double crochet until you reach the 30th stitch. So in the end of this round, we will have 30 half double crochet. Now we have completed working our 30 half double crochet. Now remove the marker and we are going to work increase. So into the first chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. And into the next chain also, we are going to work an increase. So work two half double crochet increase into the second chain. And again into the third chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So work two half double crochet increase into the third chain. So there will be six half double crochet. From the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 30 stitches. So work one half double crochet into the next 30 stitches. Now we have completed working our 30 half double crochet. 
now we are going to work an increase so remove the marker and into the next two stitches we are going to work two half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work two half double crochet so there will be four half double crochet so one two three and four remove the marker now we are in the end of the round two work a slip stitch in the end of the round two our base will be like this for the round three we are going to work chain two and into the same chain space work one half double crochet into the back loop of the same chain and place marker in top of the half double crochet so in this round we will be working in the back loop so from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet into the back loop continue working one half double crochet all across the stitches in the back loop now we have completed working our one half double crochet in the back loop of all stitches remove the marker and work the slip stitch this will be our end of the round 3 from the next round we are going to work the pattern so begin with the chain 3 and into the same chain space we are going to work two double crochet so work into the same chain space two double crochet chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet place marker in top of the chain 3 so here we are going to place the marker in top of the chain 3 now work chain 2 and into the same chain space we will be working three double crochet so here we will be working chain 3 2 dc chain 2 and 3 dc now skip the next two chains one and two into the third chain we are going to work one double crochet and again skip two stitches so one and two into the third chain we are going to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet so two and three chain two and three double crochet into the same chain space one two and three again skip two stitches that is two chain one and two into the third chain we are going to work one double crochet again skip two stitches into the third chain we are going to work three double crochet chain two three double crochet i hope you understand the pattern so continue working the same pattern throughout the round four now we have completed working our round 4 we are in the end of the round 4 so remove the marker and we are going to work a slip stitch in top of the chain 3 now we have completed our slip stitch again slip stitch in next 3 stitches 1 2 and into the chain 2 space in the end of the round 4 our project will be looking like this for the round 5 we are going to start with the chain 3 and place marker in top of the chain 3 into the chain 2 space we are going to work 2 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet Now into the next DC we are going to work one front post double crochet and into the next chain 2 space we are going to work three double crochet 
chain 2 and 3 double crochet so 3 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet Into the next double crochet, we are going to work one front post double crochet. Again, into the chain 2 space, we are going to work 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. Like this, continue working the same pattern throughout the round 5. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of the round 5, remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the chain 3. Again work slip stitch in next 3 stitches. For the round 6, continue working chain 3 and into the same chain space we are going to work 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So this pattern is the repetition of the round 5. Into the next front post double crochet, we are going to work the front post double crochet. And into the next chain 2 space, we will be working 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So like the previous round, work the same pattern in the round 6 also. Into the chain 2 space, work 3 DC, chain 2, 3 DC. And into the top of the front post double crochet, work 1 front post double crochet. Keep continuing the same pattern up to the round 11. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 11. Now we are in the end of the round 11. So remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the chain 3. After slip stitching, work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. From the next round, we are going to add a new color yarn. So take the other color yarn by making a slip knot and insert into the chain 2 space. After inserting, like the previous round, work chain 3, 2 double crochet into the chain 2 space and chain 2 and 3 DC into the same chain 2 space. Place marker in top of the chain 3. Here we are just inserting the new color yarn. There is, there won't be any change in the pattern. In the similar way into the next front post double crochet, work one front post double crochet and into the next chain 2 space, continue working 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet.
Now we are in the end of the round 12. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Slip stitch in next 3 stitches. Once you reach the chain 2 or chain 3, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet into the chain 2 space. And into the next front post double crochet or one front post double crochet. And into the next chain 2 space, we will be working 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. So like this, repeat the pattern up to the record height of the bag. So I am going to repeat the pattern up to the round 17. Now we are in the end of the round 17. So I am going to slip stitch in the top of the chain 3. For the handle I am going to continue the pattern. So work chain 3. And into the chain 2 space I am going to work 3DC chain 2 3DC. So 3 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochet into the chain 2 space. Into the next front post double crochet, I am going to work 1 DC. So we will be working in the corner chain. For the round 2, I am going to work chain 3 and turn the project. Into the chain 2 space, I am going to repeat working 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. After completing this 3 double crochet chain to 3 double crochet into the next chain 3 that is the turning chain I am going to work 1 double crochet. Now into the turning chain that is chain 3 I am going to work 1 DC 1 double crochet and again for the next round I am going to work chain 3 and turn the project. And into the chain 2 space, I am going to work 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. Again, into the turning chain, I am going to work 1 double crochet. Like this, keep working the card up to your record length of the bag. So it can be your wish. Now I have completed working my strap. Now we can attach the strap in next corner by making a slip stitch. So place the strap as I am showing in the video. Now we are going to work slip stitch. Pull the yarn through the chain. Work chain 1 and into the next 9 stitches work slip stitch.
after completing slip stitch or chain on and cut the extra yarn out Now work chain 100 After completing the chain insert the card in between shell and front post double crochet Continue inserting through the shell and the front post double crochet. Now we have completed and into the end add a bead into the end. So friends, we are in the end of our video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you are new to my video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting and be safe. Happy crocheting.